the S&P 500 on Monday dropped into its second bear market of the pandemic, crossing a symbolic and worrisome threshold as stocks plunged following a meteoric rise over the last two years. Bear markets, when stocks decline at least 20% from their recent peaks, are relatively rare, and they frequently precede a recession. This sell-off, dragging the S&P down from a peak on January 3, which reflects the new bear market's starting point, comes as concerns mount over high inflation, the war in Ukraine, COVID and the Federal Reserve's attempts to rein in the economy. The most recent bear market, just as the coronavirus began spreading globally, was the shortest on record. Stocks lost a third of their value in 33 days in early 2020, according to data compiled by Ed Yardini, an economist who tracks stocks wings. From there, it took just six months for the S&P to recover, aided by pandemic stimulus and emergency actions by the Federal Reserve. This downturn might be longer lasting and it threatens the stability of a large group of retirement-age Americans who are dependent on 401k and other stock-heavy retirement accounts, baby boomers. Stocks have fallen in large part because the Fed has been removing its monetary support, which in addition to propping up the stock market also contributed to the fastest rate of inflation in four decades. The S&P closed just above a bear market in May before recovering, but stocks fell sharply again on Friday following the latest release of government data showing that inflation had accelerated again. The worry among stock traders is that the Fed could be forced to constrict the economy's growth in order to bring inflation under control, leading to a recession. While recessions have often followed bear markets, one does not necessarily cause the other. It is not that consumer demand is weak yet, spinning has held up, said Paul Ashworth, who is the chief North American economist at Capital Economics. The fear is that the Fed is going to go very hard, and that leaves us in a recession at some point. Not everyone believes a recession is imminent this time, in part because there are areas of the economy that are doing better than in previous bear market moments, 